Hey guys, what's cracking? Um, what a week it's been. Absolutely monster week for Star Atlas. I did want to get something out last night. It's super duper close to the um, GAO, Galactic Asset Offering. That'll start from tomorrow morning for us, uh, I think 2 a.m. So what's that? Eight hours from now. I'll get the video out. I will try and do that. But uh, let's get straight into it. Can I do this? And... This was um, released this week, three, four days ago. Uh, and this, at the same time, they did a little bit of a fun thing where um, they dropped the badges at the same time. That was the, the tweet for it. Zero carbs. Sounds super duper like um, Stranger Things. Like, I don't know who watches Stranger Things. I absolutely love that TV show for like a PG sort of thriller. Something you can show the kids, get them super scared. But, you know, being from the 80s growing up, to me, a lot of that uh, stuff is the nerd shit we used to do. Minus the alien. We're looking at a uh, PS4 bike. So this is put down as a small fighter, I believe. You can see the sets of the array of weapons there. You'll be able to do some damage with it. Um, funky beats. These guys love their music, and it's it's all a part of the plan. This is done in Unreal Five. So UE Five. This is showing us what it's going to look like in the game. Pardon me. All right. So what we know from all of the interviews and stuff this week, that's going to be, why not minimize that? That's going to be $15 to start off with. Now, I'm going to be definitely reading off. I can't do justice to the amount of information that comes out each week. There's so many YouTubers this week, it's exploded. Um, there's been a lot of YouTubers that have been quiet uh, and in the last couple of weeks, they have obviously picked up. The news is exciting. Look at the amount of money that came out into the game this week with the IDOs finishing up and the coins coming out onto the market. They went fucking parabolic. It was it was huge, monstrous. Uh, we'll talk over my experience with that. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one. But um, this is cool. I really love this. $15. So I did say in my last video, be careful. Don't buy mines. I put that out last night, so I was happy I'd at least put something out. Most other YouTubers and even in discords that I've seen have said, be careful with the costing and what you're buying. It's it's speculation. It's people trying to cash in early, which is kind of cool. This is blockchain. Uh, it gives people a chance to cash in on that early support of the posters. So the only way that people have, excuse me, that's what happens when you drink beer. The only way, uh, it gives them, I guess, a bit of a, they bought a certain amount of posters got a certain amount of mines, and um, maybe they want to try and cash in on a, on a few unsuspecting victims, make a few hundred dollars here and there, and get ready for bigger ships. Wow. Haven't had a beer for a couple of weeks. So uh, numbers this week we're looking at. Almost 49,000 people in Discord when I make this recording. There was about 700 people on this town hall. Now, I'm looking at the town hall today from uh, Metaverse Nomads, and we'll get into a second video they did, which... Really awesome. I think their guild may be called Rome. But um, this is a bit of a new experience with me of, of them. And um, I'll get into the video, show a little bit of that. I'll also put all the links down below um, and try to go over some of that because I like their theory crafting and the fact they've got a bunch of old dudes sitting around talking about a computer game. And to me, that's what, what I do with my mates. So that, that is pretty awesome. But we've got some commentary here from Wags. Of the year, but... Um, their primary focus, as I said, is getting this game experience now delivered. So within within four to six weeks, you should not only have the registration process for your profile complete, but you should be able to start participating in things like ship missions. So if you own a ship, you can actually deploy that on a mission. And depending on the result, whether it was successful or not, you'll be able to earn rewards. And those rewards will come in the form of NFTs, in crew member cards, in Atlas, and potentially in Polis as well. So... Uh, 
potentially in Polis as well. Holy fuck. What a huge week. You've got to try to disseminate the information that you're given. Um, I concentrate on Solana Gaming. So um, for me, I'm trying to look across at a whole heap of different games. I don't get a lot of time into uh, Star Atlas or even the IA Guild Discord. Nowhere near as much as what I should give it. But I try to try to keep up with it. Um, I'm lucky enough where I get to listen to this stuff at work. So I might not get to do things live. I might have to download and listen and diffuse it in my little brain over the next couple of days. So that is pretty cool. But some really good information there. NFTs, um, missions may give NFTs. And I wonder what they're going to be, whether they're going to be specialized. Um, They will be worth good money, you would imagine. The game's going to be super exciting at the start if you manage to get the early drops um, and trade them successfully. It's going to be potentially big bang for your buck. Now, uh, in this town hall, they had Yield Guild, uh, and it was pretty cool to listen to them. Yield Guild, YGG, pardon me, (laughs) I'm trying to avoid that. YGG were part of this, and they did a bit of an explanation and stuff like that, and I think they've got three billion dollars in their funds was that ygg or was no that wasn't ygg that was axie affinity Axie affinity have three billion in their dow treasury it led me to sort of think uh we'll get into this later but it did lead me to think if you're going to have ships that are this kind of cost here which is uh 25 to thirty thousand dollars they'll piss on that they can buy them all what if you've got $10 million ships? They've got $3 billion in their treasury. Are we going to see the big dogs coming in and taking over these big ships? Mm, hopefully not. But you're going to see a lot of guilds are going to have access to player pool funds. There's going to be big fish um, trying to get returns. So I kind of digress. It was really cool to listen to the explanation from uh, YGG representative. I don't have the name written down, but um, it was it was a good podcast, and they had a lot of real uh, podcast um, town hall. They had a lot of really good crowd questions. Now let's skip over to one of the other ones somewhere around here. While I'm doing that, so you can only do one thing at once. But um, all right, so. Things that came up for me, the early people that participated in Star Atlas will have an opportunity to go out and capture land. So we're looking at potentially land in deep space. This is where it's going to be eight times mining, three times in medium space, uh, a lot less risk of losing something in medium space. They, they'll just have things shut down until they're repaired if it gets damaged. But um, when you buy a ship in the GAO, they're going to have, so if you come and buy that, Calico Guardian. Now, there's likely going to be a restriction on who flies this, but this is the flagship multi-role Guardian. This is what you want. Like, it, it's a really cool read. Some of this stuff. I've got to work out how to turn that off. Now, um, that will be crewed um, with the basic crew, and the longer the crew spends together, the better they become attuned to each other. But you may get specialists and NFT drops from. Um, from doing quests, missions, game things that tie in. Other things that came up, uh, claim stakes and power stations, you may, they're not going to be, they're not going to be consumable. So if you put that down in the mini game on just in a green zone and you just want an instant um, uh, form of money generation, wealth generation, you want to get that started and get some Atlas then you're going to be able to pack that up later, likely going to cost some kind of atlas, but it can get you started straight away. And if you've you, you bought quite a few posters, you might do that. You might just deploy a couple of early. When you buy these ships, they're going to come crude. They're going to have a full tank of juice, and you're going to be able to get straight into it. But if you fuck it up, you don't pass that first successful mission, then you need to kind of have a backup plan. Well, shit, how do I pay for fuel if um, I don't have any coming in there? Another thing which was really cool, now I am trying to go through my um, notes at the same time, but I did sort of have this as a note, right? So we're looking at the skin for the Sphinx, but I want to look at, where's the pet? So much in this, it's very confusing to read through the Tigu. So this was dropped for tier one, 
which was having the first three posters. Now, if YGG are involved, they're going to be helping to lease out ships. They're going to be helping to be the middleman for leasing out equipment. Animako linked up with them as well, with Star Atlas, that is, and they are a part of uh, something to do with Axie Affinities. So if you've got two Tigus, Tigus like to do things, then are we going to see that in the game? Um, I would think so at some stage. They will likely introduce it. And what that adds for them is an ability to be able to release content which may not be graphically intensive. You can see it costs you 400 bucks by order. Um, that's not bad for a bonus. You know, like, oh, I haven't kept up with the prices just for the simple fact that I just haven't had the time this week, and it's very awkward to look at on your phone. You can't just go into like a solid art and see a list. I haven't looked at bots. I haven't um, looked at all that kind of like botted um, things that do it. Whew, 600. So you're looking at a thousand bucks reward just from your pet. Um, now, I think does it list just while we're on this topic? I'm not too stressed if this is going to be a super duper long video. 3,000 supplied. So, um, 3,000 at the start, but how many players are there going to be? Like, they'll go quick. The GAO will be first come, first serve. They're releasing it on a time schedule. Uh, have we got a time schedule here? No. The ships that are there, though, have a time schedule. Um, I think they're going to sell out super duper quick. Um, and teams are going to need to work out what they want, what they're, what they're doing, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think try and get in. You know, don't don't um, FOMO it, but at the same time, you've got to kind of work out if if it's part of your plan, you want to get a, a certain ship that's in the medium range. There's only four of them. There might only be five, six of them. You know, like we've seen all of the, the explosion of NFT releases have been absolutely monstrous lately. Pizza from our, our ship and be all right. So where is that? This was cool. No. Nope. Partially answers my question. Um, like I was going to say, inspired on uh, X Infinity, if we'll be able to uh, breed pets and maybe open a pet store. <laughs> Here we go. I would not be surprised if that becomes a feature that you see. That must have been boom better. I would not be surprised. And um, another question I had will we be able to order pizza from our car ship and be delivered to the house? Man, you'll be able to order weed and pizza from from the metal <laughs> that you're going to deliver to your house. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, Swagger. All right. All right. What's really cool about that is have a look at where um, Swags has come from. The old. <laughs> um, they had Tokes, of course, the company they created, and I believe that's where one of the co-founders met him. Um, I, you know, like I, I've listened to one of Jake's uh, YouTubes today and that was with one of the co-founders, Pablo. And it was really cool. Like there is so much content out there. Um, now, Ivan on Tech, this is the very first video I've seen of him today. Uh, I, I'm not going to play any content from it, but there was a shitload of alpha drop through this particular one. I'll link that down below. Um, Let's put some eye candy on. Now, things that I noticed in that was he talked about how between him and, and, and Wags, they talked about in the next 10 days, we're going to get faction selection. Remember, you can pick any race and play for a specific faction. Ooh, pardon me. So I believe once the faction is locked in, that's it. You can't change. That's going to affect your guild selection. My particular guild isn't. Um, they're going to wait for more information before they sign up and stuff. So I don't know the process yet is tomorrow, but I don't know whether you can pick your race and then you can delay your faction, but all of this um, information starts. So we're actually going to start to get to see some of the quest line. They talk about the races. There's there's a whole different, um, whole different selection sub races, I guess you could say, within individual uh, faction, uh, sorry, individual races. So the Ulster have got, several different subcategories. And that was listening to Jake's video today with um, Pablo. That was that was pretty awesome. Um, I've, I've been picked on before, <laughs> picked on. Um, 
someone has said before, you know, that you've got information wrong. So I do try and keep it. I, I'm just not going to remember everything. That's just not me. Um, I don't remember some of the nitty gritty stuff. I generally remember a lot of the core elements of games. But um, rest of the year, they're looking at land ownership, mining claims, crafting loops for your own NFTs. So engineers, um, builders, there's going to be a research and development style profession uh, whether you take that as an option, that's the kind of shit that makes you money early. I remember World of Warcraft, um, getting stuff early makes you in-game gold. It's not going to be any different here. If you get early access to patterns and plans, you'll get a craft fee. You'll make money there. Um, it's just super duper, super duper important early on. Um possible for your first engagement experience in the game. So they've got a plan where you go into a, um, a hangar and you pick out items from the shelves and you go and fit them to your ships. You might go and get a, um, you might, let's see if the old internet's gonna work here. So yes, well, I've just not clicked on the right button. So you might go and get yourself a median ship, the Lone Star. So this is a bomber, is it not? Uh, available. That's the skin. You can get confused very easily. Um, they should really be different sections for the skins. Freight. But you might then load that with a fuel pod section so you're carrying extra fuel. Now, so you can see it's it's got those... I should I use my fingers. It's got those um, sea containers in it. So you might be able to load one of those with fuel. You might be able to load weapons. Um, you might have extra couple of PSX fours in there. There's all these kinds of options to compartmentalize and separate your ships than being the norm. So that's gonna be pretty cool. You're not gonna lose those assets, the NFTs, you can send them to mates, you can send them to guild members, you can hire them out, leave them in your bags, you can flog them off, uh, all that kind of stuff. Now, we get into, where are we? Metaverse nomads, like metaverse nomads, like I did mention. They had a really cool video. I honestly haven't managed to um, watch the whole thing. Oh, here we go. Um, but, so you can see, a couple of hours, and it was, you know, five old dudes? Was it five of them? Four of them on camera, I think. This was my first experience listening to these guys, um, and I was super duper impressed. Their knowledge, uh, they talked about a lot of the different blockchains. Um, and as you can see, you've got a couple of beards, a couple of old dudes. It's awesome. I love it. This is the kind of shit that I've been a gamer my whole life. And to see this in the new age coming through is very, very exciting. Now, they mentioned things that I hadn't heard before. So um, Star Atlas plan on having up to 400 staff by the end of year. They are gearing up. Last figure I heard was around 125. They talked about guilds. Will guilds require having polis um, for entry into the guild system? So some guilds are going to lock their doors at some stage. They're going to be, you know, okay, we're starting up. It's close to game launch. You need to have a 1,000 polis to enter. I, you know, the figures aren't going to be relative to when we look at the prices, but, you know, there may, may some guilds may put out requirements there. So it's super duper important. Get out there, be known, have a chat. There's... A lot of uh, YouTubers are starting to concentrate on this. I would have loved to have gone into the research of it. I, I just don't have the time for it, honestly. So they did talk about insurances, um, and they had a bit of a, a laugh about, you know, what happens if you smash a ship? Does your insurance premium go up? Um, they mentioned fender benders, and it was, it, you know, there's, there's all this thought that's going into it, and listening to some of these guys chuck them in the background, it's just awesome. So... Deep Space Combat, up to 80% of the ship can be salvaged. They did have a, there was a mention of a leaked document. It's been out on a couple of the YouTubers here um, that I've watched. There was another one today. Let's see if the picture comes out. So that's not a bad little spot because I can use that as a segue. Now, they, they did say, you know, this is leaked. They don't know if it's guaranteed or not. Some of the stuff lines up, um, some of it not necessarily, but it was a mention of 80% of the ship can be salvaged, which is pretty cool. Like, I would have thought they would have got rid of a lot more, but that's good. At least they're not ripping it all out. So if you're going to be going into combat and risking your own ship, you know, you risk it for the biscuit, you skin in the game, all the bullshit, playing for pink slips, 
up to 80% of a ship. Now, some of these ships, pardon me, are starting off at 25, 30 grand. You're going to have millions of dollars of encounters eventually, maybe at the start. Who knows? Um, people are going to want that deep space land claims and they're going to want to set up defences and have shit ready to go. So maybe the start might be the busiest. Who knows? Um, oh, do, do, do passports, piercing a ship. Mm -mm -mm. All right. The name mentions. So apparently we're going to be able to pick names this week. That's going to be similar to Bonfita. This is a bit of a money grab. Um, they can make money from this. Um, it makes it hard for people that have a particular name. Does that mean people are just going to bid you up? Uh, I've seen it on other things through the bon Bone Feeder. Um, I've had names outbid, um, even basic names for my partner's kids. You know, they were outbid. What do you do? I wasn't logged in at the time. It wasn't super duper important. I took a nick nickname, you know. But um, yeah, it's it's a bit of a money grab. So it's hopefully you know some people don't get scalped. Um, hopefully they don't. There's going to be popular names, you know, Enterprise and Deep Space Nine, and you know all the old shit is going to come back out. People's favourite things, you know, from all of their favourite sci-fi space action sort of stuff is all going to come out so raw materials staking there was actually something in this that was mentioned which was very cool was about how there's going to be three types of minerals uh three types of mining minerals gases and harvestables that was cool i mean there was a whole lot of stuff to listen to like i said i can't do justice to the amount that i've listened to this week uh, without making an hour-long video myself but the segue here one um, only so the the aliens this is a completely different picture than we saw from the blue face uh it was a blue or green but the the sort of face that we saw in in the cinematic trailer the teaser trailer um so advantages stealth and scanning distance stealth that is going to be huge so again leaked we don't know but stealth would be massive in any game mud other humans um, firepower and travel distance. So that's actually two very cool abilities when you're getting into battle and PvP. Maybe mud may be the choice. Or Usta, this talks to me because it's manoeuvring and hull strip. I've played tanks all through WoW. Um, love the shit out of me, Feral, from, from Classic. Uh, loved it in BC in, you know, vanilla WoW. So for me, I would likely go Ulster. Um, hopefully I'll get a chance to pick that, but I'm also going to have um, multiple characters, multiple accounts, and it's just the way I play games. Uh, I'm not going to be trying to put them in different factions. I don't like the idea of that. I, I just want to, you know, I want to be able to have a couple of different players and stuff like that. And for me with me ADHD, it's, it's not easy to be able to just play one game and just sit there and go through space. You know, you, you're flying your ship, you want to be doing other things on the side or having your phones going, all that kind of stuff. So... Let's go through some of the stuff in here. I have talked about this in my last video. Um, ship structures and access. So some of the ships are starting, because I've looked through some of these talking to my own team. Why is the jet coming soon, value item? I don't know why that screen is there today. But this starts tomorrow morning, 7 hours, 32 minutes. Um, and if we go back here, the Guardian. So you actually park... <laughs> the last ship I showed inside the Guardian, two days, seven hours. So it's two days later. It's released in stages. That's their plan. So the, Cali the, the Calico Compact Hero can park inside the Guardian. It shows you the size of that. Uh, four of these went out to posters. Um, so you would expect that's maybe another four. They're going to make these things rare. It is super awesome. Um yeah, really, really excited. I've rambled on. I've had a couple of beers. So there is so much happening. Um, do your own research. Whether you're going to ape in now, there are going to be more ships available. There's going to be more land available. Um, not everything's going to come out at the start, but you will see. Yeah, they have definitely been working on this website. So um, they've made these a bit more epic and legendary. So I wonder what the um, what the 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 tier five land stakes are going to be worth so the bigger your mine the bigger the power requirements and more storage you need because you, you, you're obviously mining more but you need the land claim stakes now, there's a thousand of these early so 
Sale begins 115 days. What the what? 115 days. What a, a better part of four months. So you can see I haven't looked at. I just haven't had time to go through all this. Um, Wowzers! Does that mean they aren't putting land on for three months? Yeah, right. So that's why people are selling land early. Um, that's a huge eye opener for me right now. Now the space station's twenty one thousand eight hundred and fifty two. We've heard you may not need to have a space station for every um, land uh, require for every land state. You may not need a space station. So there's talk of automation of these, which makes me confused because then you may not need uh, freighters as much, and that's one of the classes of ships. So hopefully it's not too automated, but they have said before they don't want to make it tedious. So maybe there'll be some kind of setup. We were also warned that your mining will need to be defended. So lots of lots of rock dows selling. You're going to need to defend against the elements against um, incursions. Maybe not as much in the green zone, but it's only times one mining. I'm going to be putting a couple of stakes down in the green zone just for the simple case that I bought in. I bought five posters. I bought multiple uh, first and multiple um, Armstrongs. So I've got to do something with them. Um, <laughs> you would think to me, logically, if you put down a couple early, then um, it's it's going to be cool. It'll start ticking it over. You can stake Atlas at some stage for Polis. Um, that's going to be super duper important later on, whether you want to be in the political side of it, whether you want to be setting um, rules, whether you want to be voting on stuff. Um, now, for whatever reason, probably to do with the fact that my internet's dog shit, is that I can't see the uh, the old candles on this. Now, parabolic, 24, 25, it could have gone to 26 cents. Where do we have a day high? We do not. So this went absolutely fucking nuts. The IDOs uh, for radium, you got $69 worth, 0 0.00138. So just over a tenth of a cent. It went up like 10,000%. It must be one of the most successful of the year. Buy orders here at 15 cents. It's cooled right down, of course. But uh, I look, I personally think that's well overpriced times 330 billion. The game's not going to be fully serviceable for ages. But this is going to be needs early. You know, you, you're going to want to get your professions leveled up through questing. You get bonuses to it. And you pay for that with Atlas. So it'll be time-based. The sooner you get your professions leveled up, the better. Now, Polis. I got one winning ticket in um, 66 entries. Uh, I was so happy I got just one. At least it was a start. Polis was my favorite coin to start with, and I sold out at around $8.6. So what was funny, it went to $16, $17, and you've got that it's crypto. It's You've got to make a decision where it is. It, it came out at 13.8 cents per coin. I, I took money out. So I took profit personally based on the fact that I bought a lot of posters early in the game. Um, and I wanted to put that into something non-Star Atlas. Does that mean I'm not going to buy a ship? Of course I'm going to buy a ship. I'm excited as fuck to play this game. Um, I think the ships at the start are going to possibly give you some bigger missions um, and get you into it. You know, like I've got a jet jet. I've, I've got the fifth poster. I've got the bob. The bob skin looks cool. Um, so for me, it's funny. Is crypto is a very interesting subject matter, and the more I've gone down the rabbit hole, the more I've enjoyed it. Um, it's very cool seeing Soul go to the moon today. It's pulled back a little bit. But um, yeah, they went absolutely gangbusters. This will affect the rest of gaming in um, in Solana. This will affect the rest of gaming on the whole gaming uh, blockchain, all games. So we know Axie Affinity is the leader, but this looks potential to be the killer of any game. So that's not hype. That's just every week you get videos out you go wow what do i cover in this just this big fuck off long list of extra shit to cover that i can never ever do it justice and um i'm so excited to eventually play what i do love about these guys is the fact that um they're putting it out in stages so they're not just 
waiting five to six years until they say, okay, um, let's let's put the game out. They're going to put it out in stages. If that just means that we get the showroom and we can itemize our ship and then the ships are on your phone and they're simple, then so be it. But they're going to be giving you return on asset. The game is looking very, very long term. Uh, there's a lot of things I, I can see on the side uh, and I'll bring that into following videos. I've already mentioned in some, but there's a lot of things they're bringing in that isn't just about the game now. It's going to be about years gone by. So um, a lot of posters have stayed similar prices. Some have gone down. Um, I'd love to see this cleaned up. It is still very hard to go. And when you're going to start adding in new ships, they did have a brochure which came out and it had some ships that won't be for sale straight away. But um, yeah, look, Super excited. Six hours. I've got to get up at 2 a.m. I'm putting in a bid. I spoke to my boys um, and the missus. I spoke to my boys uh, last night on Discord, maybe the night before. And uh, we are all very much thinking, you know, you've got to think logical. It, it is blockchain gaming. It's not out. The full release will never be out. That's part of what Star Atlas have said. They will never re release. They'll never finish it. But that's good. They're, they're releasing it. It's playable. We maybe might get PvP towards the end of next year. Does that mean you're going to go and pick a fighter class? Uh, does that mean, you know, this thing here is going to be shit hot? Um, the Thrippid. Legendary. Available supply. Yeah, right. 705. That was less the other day. So numbers are changing. I'm sure that was less. There was no way there was 705. That's a legendary ship. It's not legendary rarity if there's 705. If the numbers are still the same on that, hmm. Rambling off, that's the skin, of course. Um, I don't expect they will trade. But, um, yeah, whether you pick that fighter class may not be necessarily super useful later on in the game. Um, I think some of the utility vehicles are going to be more useful, but it's going to come down to play. Like, this is... I'm so desperate for a game. Like, I play a lot of League of Legends on my week off. Like, I might just have a day where I sit down for eight hours, have a few beers, and just smash out 10 games of Garen, a bit of Nasus, a bit of Sona. Nothing hardcore, but I just like to shut down and play a bit of game for a while. Um, so, it'd be so cool to see some of these. How many, how many of these? Now, but this is a lineal 10,000, so I, I think it goes up. Right, so the first one's going to start at fifteen dollars. The next one might be fifteen dollars and five cents. I believe that it's going up gradually. How that means later in the game, hopefully we don't price people out to play. So there's going to be talk. Obviously, you need a computer to play this. It can take UE five. I don't even know if my laptop's going to do it. I'll upgrade for it. I'll get a nice screen, fucking monitors everywhere um, for home. But you know, I work FIFA. I work in mining, so. I can't always have my home set up where I am. I need to make sure my laptop can take what's happening. But it's all starting on, on um, that was something I saw in one of the videos today, was they talk about that. Not everyone's got access to those kinds of devices now. Uh, I did see in one of the Discord channels, people asking about, you know, what do we need to play this? Well, they don't really know now, but... Yeah, it's super duper exciting. Uh, I don't know how long I've rambled on. I took the timer off, but I um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Mother, for the rabbits.